Good morning, I'm Jason Sen with some trade ideas for you on Thursday the 25th of May. I'm looking at gold here. As you can see, gold has been in a nice bull trend from the triple bottom that we had back around October. Since November, we've been in a nice bull trend. We're getting a bit of a correction to the downside here since this first week of May. Now, what pattern can I see here? I think it's probably a bear flag, which means we are probably going to continue down as far as the mid-1930 area, which is a strong support level. First, we're going to have a look at the hourly chart to see what opportunities I can spot for today. We should have some resistance around this trend line here, which is in the midpoint of this sideways range that we've been in since the 18th of May. So about a week, we've been consolidating sideways in what I think is a bear flag, which, as I say, means I think we will eventually break to the downside. But until then, we have resistance around the $1968, $1971 area. If we jump a little higher today, then we could make it as far as the 1978, 1982 region, which is a very strong resistance level. So I would expect to see a high for the day there if we reach that far. Now, if we break below the recent lows at 1951, I would say that confirms a break of the bear flag pattern. And that means we could be headed towards 1935 to 1933, which is a very strong support area. Silver has broken a really important level around the 2370 area, and it's moved to the downside. We could get a bounce now because we are quite oversold in the short term, at least. I think longer term silver will continue to go down, but in the short term, we might see a bounce. I wouldn't be buying into a long position right now, but I would happily sit and wait and see if we bounce to the 2360, 2370 area. I think that could be an opportunity to sell into a short position with a stop above, let's say, $23.90. The Australian dollar versus the US dollar has been trapped in this 150 pip range since the beginning of March, so about two and a half months. We've just started to break down out of it. I'm actually going to show you the daily chart. You can see we came down significantly, traded sideways, and now we've broken to the downside. Not really a surprise because the dollar index chart does look quite bullish. It does look like the US dollar can continue to see some gains. So we've broken to the downside yesterday, convincing big red candle through the lower trend line. This indicates to me that we've started to move to the downside. If we manage to get a bounce to the 65.60, 65.80 area, that should be strong resistance because it was the break point. It's the trend line. And it might be an idea to try a short position there with a stop above 66.00. If we do manage to get into a short position there, we could be looking at 64.50 and even 64.00 as a target. So the risk versus the reward could well be worth taking here. On the same theme as the US dollar continuing to push higher, we've got the dollar versus the Swiss franc hourly chart. We've been in a bull trend now for about two weeks. I think that this bull trend will continue, but in the short term, we're a little bit overbought. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a correction down to the 9010 area. We should have good support around there. 0 0.9010 if you're looking at it on your trading platform. There should be good support there. I would suggest that any longs need a stock below 89.90. I'm going to try to explain why I think the dollar will continue to push higher in the days and weeks ahead. You can see we've been in a bull trend since 2011, and I believe this is just a correction in that bull trend that we've seen recently. On the daily chart, we found good support at the 500 day moving average, the green line. We hovered just above it, forming a base first, pushed higher up through the 100 day moving average. So it all looks quite strong on the daily and the weekly chart. When I isolate the last month from the beginning of May, you can see that the dollar's had a really good recovery. We are getting a little bit overbought in the short term. I would not suggest a short position, but there's a little bit of resistance around the 104 double area. So it's possible we can pull back to 10350, 10340, which I think would be a nice buying opportunity for the dollar. We're starting to see the pound recover a little bit against the dollar on that weakness. And we could see the pound reach as far as 124.00, 124.20, which should be a very strong resistance level. This is the hourly chart. We've got the 23.6% Fibonacci resistance level there, coupled with the 100 hour moving average and a trend line going back to the 16th of May. So that looks quite heavy around that level. If you do manage to sell into a short position there, you would want a stop above 124.35. So the risk reward is probably worth it because if the market does turn down from there, we're probably looking at 123.70. 123.60 and maybe even a retest of yesterday's low around 123.40, 123.30. Okay, I hope those trade ideas were helpful. We'll do some more of this next week.